This is a Middle Earth philosopher. In the movie Fellowship of the Ring, after Galadriel has her Dragon Ball moment with the power up from the One Ring and then rejects it, she tries to comfort a frustrated and disgruntled Frodo, who doesn't even want the One Ring or its power and responsibility in the first place, by re revealing to him her own ring of power, Nenya, which, for the record, I think is the least attractive of the three elven rings, but that's besides the point. And she tells him that to bear a ring of power is to be alone. Why? What is it about the rings, even the good ones, that makes the wearers feel so isolated from everyone else? I think this operates on three basic levels. The first level is, I think, because of the ring's relation to supernatural power, or power not from the wearer's own strength or person, that the rose tinted glasses, as it were, are now taken off in terms of how they see the world. They become aware of much more than what others perceive, of even of their own kind, and that awareness by nature creates a responsibility to that knowledge and what to do with it. With the elves, it was holding back the progress of time over a specific geographic space and even the ability to, to control elements of nature within that space. For the doors, it was a sense of greater wealth in areas that they thought not to go before or were not yet aware of, which then played into their natural draw towards wealth and then became greed and recklessness to achieve that wealth. And for men, it was entering into the unseen realm of the immortals itself, not only becoming aware of this different plane of existence, but actively living and participating in it as well. All these effects, while being somewhat different depending on the user, still result in the wearer experiencing something so profound that it changes them in a deep and spiritual way that no one but another rain bearer would understand, even the elves. Now, as a side note here, it's worth mentioning that Tom Bombadil is a complete unknown as he was able to put on the One Ring and it did nothing to him, nor did it appeal to him at all. And my guess is that, like all divine spirits, he's from a time outside of Arda, but was a powerful spirit in its own right. So much so that the One Ring has no effect on him because he basically sees it as trivial. But whatever. Either way, Becoming a ring bearer is like wearing the football chain around the wrist of the president if he needs to press the red button, or being given something so hyper secret and is also so life changing that everything you knew you can't look at the same way again. Essentially, that one's fundamental understanding of reality becomes radically shifted, and the rings of power are doorways to that whole nother level of reality and when the one ring is destroyed that doorway now becomes shut to the nature of arda that connection as it were between the different dimensions of arda if you will is forever severed and there is no way now at this point that mortals can ever access that reality or in the power that comes from that reality again but let me know your thoughts below. This is the Miller Philosopher. Have a good day.